probably been a while since you've seen this game. <laughs> Go get your coffee. What is going on guys? My name is Mazadox. Welcome back to some more of the journey down. Oh, my camera's a little low. Sorry. Welcome back to some more. We are finally back. Um, yeah. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it. Uh, we're not gonna take any questions and we're just gonna get started. So let's do this. Okay, here we go guys. Prepare, prepare for probably a lot of noise. Cause you know how, how these cutscenes are. Yep, called it. I, I preemptively turned the volume down so it wouldn't be too terrible for you guys. I mean, it's great music, but I mean, ugh, you know, it kind of hurts you. Hey, look at that. They know the way. I gotta throw in the meme, guys. Hey, look at flamingos. <laughs> mm. I actually do have coffee today, which is good. Because, you know, if I'm going to start saying that at the beginning of my, uh, my episodes, then I gotta... I have coffee, man. <laughs> Look at Kito. <laughs> oh, that is that's some gorgeous. Uh, guys, come on. You can't hate on the artwork and the music of this game because they nail it. Okay, get dramatic. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Freaking Buana. <laughs> He's still scared of that. Man, I like how they're all like just freaking badasses now, though. That's weird. Didn't I didn't see that coming? I thought they would uh, remain being uh, a bunch of d dweebs that can't manage anything. Ma mainly, mainly Buana. Buan Buana is kind of the dweeb here. I'm not gonna lie. He is the master dweeb. That's not a. D that's a. It's just a fact. Whoa. something. I believe this monolith marks the entrance to an ancient Thauri shrine. What's a Thauri? The Thauri were mythical beings, described in the oldest Underland folktales. Archaeologists believe they were ancestral deities of the Underland. Let's see what else there is to discover on this mural. Okay, now I can escape and I can uh, fix the volume. It's a little... A little too quiet for my loiking. All right, five and five. That sounds good, huh? Maybe. Um, so we got a deity. That's that's cool. Are we gonna start like fighting gods in this game? Is that what we're doing right now? Ooh, tree. Hmm. They're still quiet. Cool. Sweet. Okay. Oh, you're not done. Girl, I can do that. Okay, we gotta we gotta fix the sound some more. Turn sound up to nine. Music down to two. How's that sound? Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this deity. That's a lot better. Well, he looks like a mean one. <laughs> I presume he was very popular. Well, yes, possibly. Well, he looks kind of, kind of scary. I don't know about this, guys. Uh, yeah, let's get away from this thing. Oh. If you just remove some of the oh, that books, animation looks I good. Be able to decipher the runes with the help of Kanon Dodo's book. Good idea. What's your name? Well, I think he told. Yeah, the machete. Okay. Where did he go? <sighs> Just go running into. Look at this. Oh, that's one brutal skull, man. What is that supposed to be? A real skull? Is that what we're thinking here? Don't. Oh, is it my cactus? <laughs> <laughs> he brought the cacti. I told you that was a bad idea. Nice one, Buana. You cracked me up, man. Oh, we got our cacti. Cacti rule. Yeah, they do. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the journal, I guess. The journal of the journey down. Yeah. That old book has really been through a lot. It's been through it, that's for sure. Uh, so we got a map. 
We're in the caves of Kueiromoshi. Okay. 200 miles from the Hatari Reef. Oh, yeah. According to the maps, these caves are the only passage that can take us through to the Marushaka River. It is only thanks to your father, Captain Kaunin Dodo, and the incredible book he left behind, that we can navigate through the Underland. A little bit of exposition there. Nice. those notes during his early expedition. Yes. Without his book, we'd be completely lost down here. And it'd be impossible to decipher these ancient writings. Somehow, I'm certain that the journal of the God, she can just go. She can drone on and on. Disappearance. Oh my! <laughs> she's she stopped to get me to think she was done. Why else would the power company go to such great lengths to find it? I don't know, man. They're hiding something though. So we're right here. Uh, there's some the giant trees over that way. Uh, hop on the crocodile, cross the bridge. Uh, Grab the monkey, and then we're there. Okay, easy. Oh, sheesh, are these the hungries? Those giant eels? <laughs> that doesn't sound good. A deity. Who are all those little guys? The Thari were revered spirits of the Underland. Revered, not revered. In human or animal form. Together, they maintained the balance of nature and guided the living and ancestral spirits of new life. I spent countless hours studying these legends back at the university in St. Armando. That there is Ogonon, the tiger form predator Thori, who was believed to bring good fortune in hunting. Ogonon, you seem pretty cool. You seem like a cool guy. There's Logasha, Logasha. The of storms, worshipped for protection from hurricanes and floods. Logasha, nice. Seems cool. Seems like a cool guy. Marushaka, the Thori of the Marushaka River. Well, you have a boring job. All living things in the water. That is our Quan. The great eagle Thori, king of everything that flies, and protector of the underland. Hmm. Awaquan. Well, that's this is lovely. Okay, bye. Oh, and be careful. If the caves ahead have been used for sacrifice to the Thori, the sacred chamber is probably well guarded. The journal specifically mentions traps in a complex series of Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, we're just gonna walk. Oh my God, Keto! Keto, what are you doing? Keto, you're gonna get everybody killed. What's in the crate, man? Must be remnants from some old expedition. Oh, what's in it? Open the crate. Oh man, it's empty. Well, how pointless. Never made this expedition. They're long gone now. I wonder if they found what they were looking for. Are we going to pick up the crate? Uh, some fungi. No, in mushrooms. Looks like they're somehow living off of the hot air coming from below. Oh, okay. Um. I can see straight up to the clouds from here. I wish we had some wings. We could fly right out. Pretty lame. Uh, maybe we can go talk to Awakwan and uh, get some wings or something. Okay, uh, Keto. What's cooking, man? I need that machete. Come down from there. <laughs> no way, boy. Dude, he's gonna Did fall you know? off. I'm flying. He's gonna like fall off and land on the machete. We're about to. Oh, you're about to get popped, son. You're about to get popped. Woo! Time to come down from there, man. <laughs> machete. He's dead. You just killed. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Some really gaping hole in my arm. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. Um, I guess let's go give this to to the girl, to Lena. I almost forgot her name. Hey, Lena. What's up, lady? Nice. It, it can't be. Who just lit something up? Be what? This must be the tomb of Miyakazo. Who? Miyakazo. Sounds bad. According to myth, he was an immensely powerful Thori king whose evil reign drained the underland of all life, even causing the great Asiri yep. tree to wither. Well, that's too bad because I was actually planning on naming my daughter Miyakizi. So. I guess that changes that. Alright. Miyakazo, Miyakazo. According to Underland mythology, 
Miyakazu was a tyrant who ruled the world for a thousand years. But some scholars believe that Miyakazu may have actually been a metaphor for some sort of natural disaster. Or maybe an ancient plague. Okay. Uh, cool, bye. I believe this monolith is some sort of warning. Nah. Warning left for us. Nah. Maybe we should have read it before we went inside. Well, there's no point looking back now. We have to find another way out of here. Don't we... worry, Lena. I'm working on it. Can we just go back the way we entered or something? Oh, vines. I want those vines. Hang on. Oh. I want divines. Hello. Give me that. Okay. Ah, these vines might come in handy. <coughs> oh, they will. This is a point and click game. Basically, anything you can touch comes in handy. <laughs> Except for those old ones. Those old ones are kind of kind of brutal. Uh, okay, we'll click this gate. Um, this feels like a bad idea, though. I'm not going to lie. Kito. Hey, what's this? I hope we're not going to regret this. Maybe it opens a door or something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's some kind of booby trap. Yeah. Dude. You cheeky moana. Something tells me I'm gonna regret this. That was close. Okay. Well, that was easy. Booby traps, please. They ain't gonna slow us down. That is a long spine. What kind of thing was living down here? And who killed? it guys I really don't know about this this seems like a bad idea Whoa, this place is crazy man <sighs> okay um, here we go only, uh, well, let's look at the statue before we do something bit terrible. This has got to be that Niakazo guy that Lena was talking about. Yep, that's, uh, that's my daughter. Niakazo. Hey, you sweetie. What do you that huge statue, man? <laughs> Looks pretty cool, man. Cool is not the word I, was, I would use to describe that. One thing to do. Looks like there used to be some kind of artifact on this pedestal. But whoever came here ahead of us must have taken it with them. It's probably another booby trap. You're chicken. Oh, come on, Mon. I'm not chicken. Come on, press it. Why aren't you crazy, Mon? What, you're not chicken? chicken. Come on, oh. do it. Chicken, 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 chicken. Man, me and Kita, we're in sync. Oops. <laughs> What the frick? <laughs> that fire does not match the rest of this game, I gotta say. Well, that was nice. Uh, we just broke our way back. So, no escaping that way. <laughs> it bent all the hair off my head. Man, you haven't had hair since we were kids. <laughs> I think I better just lay low for a while anyways. That was a pretty close call, Mon. <sighs> okay, um... Well, I guess let's head back. Uh, see you later, Kito. Don't get into trouble or fall in lava. Um... I, let's go talk to Lena. She's probably gonna yell at us, but, uh... She's probably gonna yell at us and then talk to us for another century. Maybe she's Niakazo. Hey, Lena, guess what I found? I'm guessing a booby trap. <laughs> yeah, a couple. Yeah. How'd you know? You just destroyed the only way back to the mountainside. And I think the entire cave is collapsing into the lava stream. We need to find another way out. Yeah, don't even worry about it, girl. Kito and I will figure something out. So we have vines for a reason. We have that crate for a reason. Uh, vines on the... Crate. I'll just tie the vines to the crate here. Yep, makes sense. Uh, any sane person would do that. Oh, hold. Oh, we're about to make a hot air balloon, guys. That's what we're doing. Oh, it's oh. still all nice and warm from the hot Shoot. air. Shoot. 
This is about to be awesome. Okay. Uh, put it on, on the crate slash thingy. The thingy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bam. Ah, fits perfectly. All right. Now let's pump some hot air into this baby. Yeah. Kyoto. <laughs> Cover your head, man. You don't want to lose any more hair. Woo. Let's do this. Boop. I get ready for takeoff. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> just watch this. I hope this doesn't just fly off without us. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Beautiful. Hey, it's working, man. It's working. Oh, oh, we made it. Okay, we all look random. <laughs> well, I guess you were right. You really can count on Buana's charges. Well, we are dead. Ta the credits. Roll credits. Because we're dead. There's no way we would survive that. Buona. <sighs> what did I just say? Hey, Buona. Where am are I? You all right? Am I the, the skeleton? Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> he just all... <laughs> what a crush. <laughs> Thank God you made it. Quick, get in here. You've got to see this. Okay, how do I get in? What? Is this place? Uh, okay. Roots. Man, these roots are huge, and they're rock hard too. Hmm. That's so uh, nice. Looks like someone has been busy breaking the roots into smaller pieces. Hey, <coughs> what's this? What is this, this little piece has got glowing crystals inside Well, it is a magical it. tree. Nice. Looks tasty. Um, let's look at the canyon Looks first. Like the river continues beyond Priorities. The cool. Okay, skeleton. This guy must have worked here in the mining station. Looks like a prisoner. Well, at least he got some fresh air. <laughs> Way to look on the bright side, man. Uh, camera. They must have used these cameras to monitor the prisoners here. Why did they have I prisoners don't here? Working anymore. Uh, pretty busted up looking gate. Oh, man, Still locked know. though. Um. But it's very rusty. Do I hit it with? Uh, oh. I love my old cacti. Let's uh hit it with the man, that root. Ain't gonna work. Man, that ain't gonna work. Sorry, I didn't know that sign. It says, all personnel and prison labor relocated to Zone 1 mining station. I wonder where that is. I don't know, man. Um, let's climb up the bucket chain, and I, I guess. To find a way to get up there. Dude, just climb up. Wow, that thing reaches all the way up into the clouds. Whatever they're mining here, this must be how they get it up from the underland. Well, climb up, dude. Looks like it's turned off right now, though. Just cl climb. What's wrong with you? Okay, machete then. Time for another prison break. You ready, Mr. Skeleton? <laughs> Spooky, Guess scary not. skeletons. All right. <laughs> That's <was> funny. <laughs> okay, please don't be another cutscene. God dang it. Hey guys, how was your landing? Not so bad. <laughs> That's because you landed on me, Kito. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is uh, this? <sighs> it seems to be an abandoned mining station. Get up Quite. here, Buana. I gotta show you something. Okay. Well, I've been recording for a while. This seems like a good place to end it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. 
I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.